guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to build three arcade games. Number one is the basketball. So we press this button, we get given a fishing rod, and we have to try and pop it on this hopper. Okay, I've got a score of 40. So first you're obviously going to want to build the basketball area. But make sure when you place the hoop, aka the dispenser, that it's not right against the wall, because otherwise that will be like a really useful blackboard and you be successful every single time. I'm gonna break through one block above this dispenser. Then we're gonna place a tripwire hook here so we can detect that the fishing rod has landed on here. Uh, make sure this gets placed. There we go. So this is set up here. And then we're gonna start with some of the commands. Saying all these commands should be copied in the description. It will take up a lot of space. I would recommend going underground. We have the welcome message one I've got. So it says, and then at P is the nearest player. They're playing basketball, they have 15 seconds on the clock. Then you wanna give them a fishing rod. So we're gonna do give at P fishing underscore rod. And then in the chat, you're gonna to wanna to do forward slash scoreboard, objectives, add, and then name it, which is gonna basketball uh, dummy and that's gonna now add it scoreboard objectives set display sidebar basketball then we're gonna have scoreboard players add at P to basketball with a score of zero and then we're gonna do a long timer which is basically a bunch of repeaters to figure out how many seconds you do 20 times the amount of seconds so if it's 15 we're gonna need 300 you don't have to place 300 repeaters because you can do repeaters with four on each of them as you can see here so then we can then divide that by four and we know we need to place 75 repeaters with a tick of four which is quite a lot place it down a block press f3 uh, on java or do, put it on on settings in a uh, truck and you can write the coordinate It'll, and then we can fill all of this massive gap with air and if for some reason you can't do the maths then what you can do is simply just do it randomly and then open up a timer and just then just play the time and see how long it is And 75 so then we can just link up all this redstone it's a website called minecraftjason.com so you can use it if you type forward slash tell raw in the top here you can so you can say the round is finished which makes it a lot easier because it formats it for you correctly selector so we can do the nearest player just do blue that text save <coughs> And then we can add school board objective. So you need to make sure you write the exact objective with the exact capitals. Nearest player. You can just copy that now. Tell War, copy that. I'm going to say it to all players. You need to make sure that these have got spaces and the text. So if we just come out here, and this is going to do redstone coming out. I'm going to pop our command block. So school board is add at p basketball and that's going to add one to their score is scoreboard uh players and then you can just remove them from basketball uh seems like reset also works as well reset basketball if we could have a command block in here we can put uh, execute if entity nearest player Distance equals point point five. No point point. Uh, yeah, point point five. We can then do run day at p is cheating on the basketball or is coming too close to the machine. It always active. It's saying that we're cheating on the basketball or we're coming too close to the machine. Thirty one. So, so you can see if you can build this like mine and beat my score. Okay, next up we have Wacker Zombie. Just saying these commands don't have to be there. We press the button and we can start whacking some zombies. So you can make the grid as big as you want for this. And when I mean the grid, I mean like 
where the zombies pop up and down. And then I'm going to go down here, so this is where the zombies are going to spawn in. Okay, so we're going to get my button. Okay, so first we're going to want to make the scoreboard. Now this isn't like the basketball one, it's like Minecraft dot killed colon Minecraft dot and then zombie. So we're going to do scoreboard. Uh, objectives set display sidebar whack a zombie scoreboard players add at p to whack a zombie with a score of zero to block in each one and if you press f3 on java you can look at it and do targeted block or if you're on bedrock if you stand on it it should spawn a zombie in here it might be one below i don't know you might have to experiment with that so then we're going to get the coordinate of every single one and then basically, we're just going to want to randomly spawn zombies. So I'm going to make a little like redstone track if summon zombie. Now if we look at it, hold down control and press the middle scroll wheel. That then clones the command block into random coordinates for the zombies. Uh, and we can set these delays to be completely random. But this time we can put, instead of basketball, we can do whack a zombie at p nether height sword oh unconditional and then we can pop that here but this time we can clear it from them zombie and so it, as you see this one here the massive delay after this one because right, so let's pop that on that we need to make, make sure that the score gets reset so, uh, where is this? If we come out here, set at P's whack a zombie score to zero. It's got a score of two. Bruh. Bruh. I'm going to show you how to make a coin machine like this one where you press a button and all the gold that's in there might come towards you. Now, you can make it a lot more difficult than it than this because i got so much gold. So, we're going to want to build the little the coin section. A piston here and then we can power that so I'm just gonna go a few blocks up here say this is my ceiling and you can always go down so we're gonna want to so we're gonna do the middle block is gonna go a bit higher place a command block here then branching out of this we're gonna have a big repeater delay loop Then we're going to want to place a redstone torch and then break it and then place redstone there. So now we have a loop going. It's F3 or tab on F3, caps lock and F3, shift and F3 in Java. Or turn it on in settings in bedrock and stand on the block. And you can see targeted block minus 53. And then it go, if you place a block here it then goes to minus 59 which is a difference of minus 6 salmon. Squiggle, squiggle, minus six, squiggle. Uh, and then we're going to do item before that. It's this long code. That will be in the description. Then we paste that in there. Then if we look at the command block, hold down control and press the middle scroll wheel on our mouse, we can just paste that command block everywhere. So you can get all of these command blocks powered, connected up with redstone, and make sure there's repeaters going into each one. Okay, so they're all powered. Then you want to also do the other one up here. And this one is minus 50 to minus 59. And we're going to want to make sure that this one's also got its redstone. Okay, so now we have a diamond spawning in here. So we've got buttons on here. Then we're going to do a pathway coming out. All the coordinates of these three blocks. And I can see a pattern. It goes from 33 to 32. Arm block and do fill and then we're going to paste the coordinate block and then we're going to do water we're going to get this coordinate fill and we're going to fill that block with air so basically what happens the water comes out and this block goes up put this block and look at this block and hold down control and press the middle scroll wheel on our mouse we're going to paste this one and that's going to retract the water, which is going to make sure that the piston comes back down. Make a hole out here, then it kind of collects it all in that little circle. So all of these command blocks by looking them middle scroll wheel on our mouse. And it's going to be somewhat similar 
it's good. we're just going to have to change a few of the coordinates so the ferret gets filled with water uh, this one's going to have to be 32 on both of them the piston one is going to be exactly the same then this last one's going to be 32 again and this last one's going to be the same and then we basically just do that for the, uh, each row and you might also want to cover this up at the top maybe so yeah but I'm Aegis and I'm signing out